When Adam asked me to be the best man, uh, it was both an honor, but it was also humbling. I hope I can live up to your expectations. <laughs> anyway, I want to tell you a story about Adam. When Adam was growing up, and he was at the age of being able to, to drive, he got his permit. And we all took turns teaching him how to drive, but um, I spent quite a bit of time trying to get him to drive properly. <laughs> and it was very, very difficult for Adam to negotiate corners on four wheels. <laughs> it seemed that way anyway. Uh, he, uh, he, I was sitting in the driver's seat many times and just sort of the inertia sort of took me by surprise and I said, Adam, you got to slow down. And no matter how Many times I asked him to slow down. He, he negotiated the turns about the same way. <laughs> so, uh, I don't know if you all know, I'm a, I'm a person with diabetes, and I usually carry a, a, a glucose monitor with me. So I had it with me, and I put the glucose monitor on the dash of the, board, of the, of the car, the Astro van. And I, I said, Adam, when you turn, if that monitor falls off, you're going much too fast. And after a few times, he learned that going slow enough to keep it, keep it from falling was the right way, right way to do it. So that's my story. Adam is really a, a visual type of person. He didn't understand what it meant to negotiate a turn until the monitor stayed on the dash. Now the rest of the story. What I'm about to ask Adam and Amanda to do is something that I was told my grandfather Jerzynski, uh, Adam's great-grandfather, did at my Uncle John's wedding. And he took out a rope. Just happened to have one with me. <laughs> <laughs> and he tied it in a knot. either end of the rope. Now if one person pulls on it and the other one just lets it go, nothing really happens. But if both people pull and pull harder, the knot tightens up. And my grandpa said, that's how marriage should be. It requires two people working together, working as hard as they can to make the knot tighter and tighter. And that's the way marriage should be. And the, the arms that you got the energy that you got pulling that rope together is something that God has blessed you with. So, Adam, it's a visual thing. <laughs> So 
So with that, I'd like to make a toast to Adam and Amanda that they have a wonderful, tight wedding, marriage. <laughs>